As much as I hate to say it, the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection was a total failure. Now I had high hopes for this game, just hoping to be a fun, enjoyable experience with friends, but none of that was possible. And this turned out to be the first game on Steam that I would get my money back from. Let's take a look at why this game completely failed on launch, and if there's any salvaging it. So I fully understand that this game is a re-release, and it's not like I was expecting 4K textures or anything like that, but the multiplayer mode is completely broken. This game has only been out for a day, and it has overwhelming negative reviews on Steam of over 4,200. Now I know myself and a majority of other people downloaded this game to play multiplayer mainly and have those 64 player servers back open. Within the first half of the day of its original release there was only three actual servers up and running. By the time the day would wear on there'd be more servers up but it's still a huge pain to try and get into a server with your friends and the worst part once you finally get into a server with your friends someone will get randomly booted out. This could be a fixable thing but when you spend 45 minutes trying to get into a game with three of your friends, it just ain't worth it. Another thing that holds this game down is the ping. Me and my friends all have pretty good internet and while connecting, we'd have very bad lag spikes. Along with this, a lot of the shots would feel about a half a second late. And now it's time to get into the actual gameplay online. So a lot of the conquest maps will be over in like two minutes, which just doesn't seem right. This pairs up with a really bad online experience. Along with this, sometimes when you have one of the Jedis or the special characters, you can really spawn camp the other team and take over points very fast. So if multiplayer isn't your thing and you're looking for just the campaign side of it, I would just buy the original Battlefront 2 Classic because it's only 10 bucks compared to a whopping 35 for this classic collection. If you still want to keep playing on the Star Wars, the EA Battlefront 2 is 88% off right now. It's only $4.79, so that's definitely a good one to pick up. I hopped right back into the EA Battlefront 2 servers right when I got off the classic collection just to remember what an actually decent online Star Wars experience is about. But anyways guys, that's all I got on the Classic Collection. I give this a 1 out of 10. Maybe you could have a little bit of fun trying to relive some memories, but with it so broken right now, hopefully they do something to get this fixed, but as of now, online is unplayable and no fun. With that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.